ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मूल तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरो वैष्णवाश्रीप साग्रजात सह गण रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापाद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामने गौर ष्ये नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवाशि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद्य से यदित्रत चार्थ सुभिज्य स्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदि कवे मुह्यूर तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तकुहक सत्यम परम धीमहि नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवीं सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्तिस्त विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यात भूता शिव मिथो धिया मन भद्रम भजता दधोक्ष आवेश्यता नो मतिरप्यीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत कैंटो टेन चैप्टर थर्टीन वर्स नंबर फिफ्टी फोर सो इन द प्रीवियस वर्सेज वी रेड अबाउट ब्रह्मज विजन ऑफ cowherd boys turning into vishnu forms and they were all being worshiped by the various tattvas various siddhis eight types all the opulences and all the movable immovable beings in their personified form so now he is going to speak all this uh, forms are real they are not material means they are not just some magical thing so why krishna did not expand into krishna forms because the yogis can also do that 
Sabri Muni made 49 of Sabri Muni forms, but he cannot make Vishnu form. And Brahma has to be shown. Brahma wanted to see Mahima because this came earlier that Mahima Manjam Darshtu that he wanted to see wonderful opulence, majesty of Krishna. So now Krishna is fulfilling his wish by showing this Vishnu forms which are being worshipped. So what are the 24 tattvas? Sujani? Mahatattva, Ahankara, Manas, Budi, Five Mahabhutas, Five Cognitive Senses, Five Voting Senses, and Five I don't remember now. Five what? Five more I don't remember now. Okay. Jaya, what are the missing five? Manas, Manas, Budi, and uh, one more, Mahatatva. Is it okay? No? So, yeah. what about Prakriti? What about yeah. Prakriti? Prakriti is yeah, the Prakriti is the twenty-fifth. Satyajit, Chavis Bola, Dev Mike. Five gross, five subtle, uh, five karmendriya, uh, five gyanendriya. Man, Buddhi, uh, Ankar, Mahatat. And Prakriti? Prakriti will be in Mahatat. No? Hmm? Now it's 25. <laughs> <laughs> it so will be in Mahatat. Well, us. I think Buddhi and Mahatat are one. And therefore, it's 24. So there is no buddhi. No. <laughs> ah. You are all having buddhi, that's why you are making it 25. <laughs> okay, Janaki. Sarati, Mahatma, Mana, the Panchabhutas, the um, the the Gyanandriyas, the Karmandriyas, and the um, Tanmatras. So that is only 21. He said Mahatattva and then 20. So Prakriti, Mahatattva, hmm. mana, Manas. Yes, three. Um, Karmandriyas, Gyanandriyas, um, Panchabhutas, and the Mahatattva. So that makes 23. So you said Buddhi is not one. But you said it's 23 now. No false ego. You, got, you, you lost your Ankara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. Ah. How can you forget that? I know. <laughs> okay, Sandeep, what are the Ast Siddhis? Karima, Mahima, Tajima. Three. P. Hmm? Prapti, Prapti. Four. Fifty percent. Passing mark is eighty percent. Okay, who will tell the Ast Siddhis? Narottam.
Okay, let's move. Figure it out yourself. By now, by now you should have googled. Come on. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's all. Ishitvam and uh, Vashitvam. Yes. So, what is the difference between Ishitvam and Vashitvam? Hmm. Both, I have no idea. both sound like same. Desiring and Vashitam is uh, keeping somebody under your control. That is, that is Prakamyam or Kamvashaitvam. Okay, let's read the verse. So devotees are not interested in Siddhis. <laughs> That's why they don't know. Right? Devotee is only one bhav. <laughs> That's what he was saying. <laughs> okay, Satya Jnana Nanta Nanda Matrai Karas Murtayaha Asprishta Bhuri Mahatmya Apihup Nisha Drisham. Prasattam Prabhu has written one book called Nectar from Numbers. If you read that, all the numbers are there. Six, seven, eight, up to. I don't know what is the ultimate limit. So he says that Satya, Jnana, Ananta, Ananda, Matra, Ekaras, Murtaya. So these forms were not material because yogis can also make Kaya Vyuha. But those are material forms. So Satyajit was very much fixed why Krishna did not become Krishna only. But the yogis can also make that. So what is the big deal? Brahma knows that Brahma has all the yogic powers. But yogi cannot make Vishnu. And that also being worshipped like this. So Satya, these forms were real. And they are conscious. They are not robots. And Ananta, they are unlimited. Means each form was unlimited. They were all infinite, not just one infinite. And Ananda Matra, and they are all blissful, means there was no trace of any impurity or any material. None of these 24 tattvas. Nayatra Maya Kimuta Pare Hare Anuvrata Yatra Sura Sura Archita. So there is no Maya in the Vakuntha. So these forms are also called Vakuntha. Vakuntha is the planet Vakuntha and the boss of Vakuntha is also called Vakuntha. So these are all Vakuntha Murtis because Vakuntha is non-different from Vishnu. So they have same nature. So there is no Maya in Vakuntha. Nayatra Maya. Natatra Jastamastayo Sattam Cha Misram Chakala Vikram. There is no sattva, there is no rajas, there is no tamas, there is no influence of time, no maya, what to speak of any other elements like mahatattva and this and that. So therefore these are being explained here that these forms are not product of prakriti, they are not like our material bodies. So Brahma experienced this, that these forms are not material. So Satya Jnana Ananta Ananda Matra. So Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma. So what is you see in the Upanishads, all that statements are described here in this verse. And Asprashta Bhuri Mahatmya Api Hi Upanishad Drisham. So even the Bhuri Mahatmya the great glories of these forms, this cannot be touched or contacted even by the jnanis. Those who have Upanishad Drishti or those who have the vision of Upanishads means they are situated in knowledge. Upanishads are supposed to be the Jnana Kanda, 
part of the Vedas. Right? Veda has Gyan Kanda, Karma Kanda. So Upanishad part is the Gyan Kanda part. So Upanishad Drisham api asprishta bhuri mahatmya means these forms are not approachable by them. Because Krishna himself says bhaktya aham abhijana, bhaktya aham abhijana ti yavaniyascha tattvata, bhaktya aham ekyagrahi. So it is not just by Upanishad knowledge. Also he, although he is described in the Upanishad, and he is also called Upanishad Purusha, but without bhakti, simply jnana cannot give realization of these forms. So, naham prakasa sarvasya yoga maya samavrata, mudhayam na bhijanati. So, people who are devoid of bhakti, he is not visible to them, they cannot see him. So that's what is being stated here. So Nachayetat Sarvam Bhagavata Maya Darshita Miti Mantavyam Itiya. So one should not think that these forms they were manifest by Bhagavan by his Maya. Maya means Bhairanga Shakti. So Maya Parati Abhimuke Vilajjamana. So Maya cannot even come in front of him. So therefore he says that these are not forms made of Maya, Maya Nirmitam. So that is being described here, Satya. Satya so first of all they are Satya. Satya means which are present and past, present and future. So means they are not limited by the upadhi of time. That thing which is free from the upadhi of time is called satya. Because all these objects which you see around you, they are limited by the upadhi of time. In a particular time they begin and then they end within a particular time. So eternal things are free from the upadhi of time. You cannot say when they begin, when they come, at which point in time they came into existence. They can appear and disappear, manifest and unmanifest. So they only have Turobhav and Avirbhav. There is no Pragabhav and there is no Atyanta Bhav. There is no Dhansa Bhav. There is also no anyanya bhav. They are also not limited by any object. They are not limited by time. They are also not limited by space. So none of these abhavas are possible. In him. That is the meaning of sat- such an object is called satya. Anything which has praga bhav will have a beginning. Anything which has a pradhansa bhav will have an end. So it's free from that. Anything which have anyonya bhav will be limited by space. Because then it will be in one place and not in another place. Then only it can have anyonya bhav. So anyonya bhav means no limitation of space. So that is called satya. And you can say prakriti is also Satya, right? Prakriti is also, it has no beginning and an end. Right? Krishna says, uh, Prakriti Pursaucha, Vidhya Nada Ubhavapi, in 13th chapter. says, both Prakriti and Purusha, they are both Anadi. They don't have a beginning. Prakriti has no beginning, also has no end. So Prakriti is also real, it is also Satya, it is also existing in past, present and future. So therefore it says that Jnana Rupa, that is also conscious. Prakriti is not conscious. Time is also has no beginning and no end. 
but time is also not gyan rupa so there are things which which can have no beginning no end means not limited by time so this is gyan rupa scha so conscious so both prakriti and time they have been excluded by that and in nyaya they have atoms and akasha they are all nitya they are all excluded they are not they are not conscious beings and anantascha so ananta is that which signifies that it is not, not limited by space it's not that it is here and not there so prakriti is limited by space prakriti is not in vakuntha Hmm. Time is also not there. This time is not there. No yatra kalo, anusham, ya jagatam ishire. So time, this time is not there. But this is ananta, an ananda rupascha. So you can say jiva. Jiva is also satya. jiva is also gyan roop but ananda is only ananda roop is him so therefore satya jnana ananta ananda matra ek ras murtaya ek ras means that there is no transformation in it. and also this is everywhere we have body but body is not ek rasa you can give you an injection and make one part of your body as unconscious right anesthesia so he is ek ras means all these qualities exist in all parts of his body so ek ras and he is murti is not just brahman brahman also have satya gyana ananta ananda ananda brahma vijaniyat no brahman to be ananda satyam gyanam anantam brahma no brahma so but it does not have murti so this is the speciality of this form so therefore this is very important statement satyam gyanam ananta ananda matra ekras murti so anand rupascha tatra tatrapi तदेक मात्रा विजातीय संभेद रहिता सो देर इज नो विजातीय भेद सो देर इज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ भेद सजातीय भेद विजातीय भेद स्वगत भेद सो ही इज फ्री फ्रॉम दैट देर इज नो डिस्टिंगशन विद इन हिम्स योर हैंड एंड योर लैग आर डिफरेंट वट हैंड कैन डू लैग कैन नॉट डू so ek mat rasa ek matra means that this kind of distinction is not there in him is every part i can do anything and can also act as hai leg and leg can also act as anything else so therefore there is no bhed vijatiya sambhed rahita vijati also means difference from other things tatra pe ek rasa kal parichheda bhavat so kal parichheda bhavat means no transformation happens in so sada ek rupa murtayo va punsi e shante so they all had this form so this is these were the forms of those vishnu forms and therefore krishna also has all these qualities although he is appearing limited all these forms appeared limited because they were visible in one place and one other form here so looks like limited but still they were unlimited this is to be understood yadva or says satyam vijnanam anandam brahmeti satyam vijnanam anantam brahmeti anandam brahmano rupa ityadi shruti yuktam satyadi rupam yad brahma tadeva murti yosham or it can be understood that these are various statements from the upanishads which give the characteristic of brahman that brahman is satyam vijnanam means consciousness and anandam 
and Satyam Vijnanam Anantam Brahma and Anandam Brahmano Rupa. <coughs> so Brahman is dis- described having these qualities of Satya, Jnana or Vijnana, Ananda and Ananta, these four qualities. So that very Brahman was present here in personified form as Vishnu. Because there it is not described that Brahman having form. But this Brahman was standing, Murti. So therefore it says that Satyadi Rupam Yad Brahma Tadeva Murtayo Yesham Te. That the Brahman itself is the Murti. So Nanu Drishyatva Bahutva Vividhatvadikam Brahmano Naiv Shruyate Vedanta Darshana Statra has Prishtaiti. So now says that in the Upanishad, in the Vedanta, there is no description that you can see Brahman. Brahman is adrushya, it is not visible, asprushya, it can, you cannot touch Brahman, you cannot taste, you cannot smell. This Brahman has all this because it is beyond that. So how is that they, he was able to see them? So that's why it says Nanu Drishyatva Bahutva. Also Brahman is only one. So how is that so many Brahmans are here now? So Drishyatva Bahutva Vividhatva and there is no variety in Brahman. It doesn't have any form, qualities like that. So, ityadikam brahmano naiv shruyate vedanta darshina. Those who have knowledge of vedanta, they describe it free from visibility or object of vision or many in number, etc. So then it says that, yes, that is true, this, this is beyond Brahman. Asprishta Bhuri Mahatmya. So this these forms cannot be known even by those people who know Brahman. So this is beyond. Brahmanohi Pratishtaham Amrita Savyasaj. Krishna says I am the Pratishtha supports sustenance of Brahman. So his support his means is beyond that. So therefore it says Asprishta Bhuri Mahat. Upanishadaha Pashyanti Bhakti Abhavat Abhavat Natu Tadartham Jananti Iti Upanishad Drisha. So the word Upanishad Drisha here means that these people they understand the Upanishad, but because they do not have Bhakti, so they don't know the real meaning of the Upanishad. Tadartham na Jananti. So, darshanika stesham tairna sprishtam api bhuri mahatma nisham. So, they are only philosophers, but do not have experience of satyam. So, therefore, it is said as prishta bhuri mahatma. So, bhaktyaham ekya grahaya iti, as Krishna says, that I am known only by bhakti. Bhaktiya mama bhijanati yavani asrasmi tattvata I am only known through bhakti. Na chakshusha pasyati rupa masya His form cannot be seen by eyes. So yameva yesha vrunute tena labhya stasyeva atma vivrunute tanam shyam. So paranchi khani vitrunit swayam swayam bhu parang pasyati nantar atma. So our forms they are only going external. They can only see material things. They cannot see inner self. So only a person who is blessed by him, yame vaishvunute tena labhya, only such person can have. Tasyesha atma vivrunute tanumsa. So only to such a person, God, Bhagawan reveals his body 
is formed not to others. Aditya Varnam Tamsaha Parastat. So therefore it is said that his form, his color is like the sun, is beyond darkness. Iti Ananda Matra Majaram Purana Mekam Santam Bahudadrishyamanam Iti. So he is Ananda Matra, he is free from old age, he is the oldest, only one and seen in many ways. Bahu Murti Ek Murtikam. He has one form, but that one form appears in many ways. So, Sarva Nitya Shashvatasya Dehastasya Paratmane Hano Padana Rahita Naiva Prakriti Jakochit. So, Parmananda Sandoha Gyan Matrasya Sarvata. Supposed to be a statement from Varaha Purana that all the forms of God, they are eternal and without any modification or transformation deha paratmana and hano padan rahita so there is nothing rejectable in them and they don't need their form to become complete by accepting something and naiva prakriti jakochit they are not product of prakriti or matter parmananda sandoha they are all blissful supremely blissful and conscious Gyan Matrasya. So all these statements from the Shrutis and Smritis, they describe how the form of Bhagavan is transcendental, non-material, eternal, blissful. But it can manifest in many ways. So Brahmano api aprakrit rupa Gunadi Matvam Tadichya Bhakti Mat Chakshu Gamyam Asti Iti Jayam. So he says Brahmano Api Aprakrit Rupa Gunadi Matvam Tadichya Bhakti Mat Chakshu Gamyam Asti. So how is that Brahma was able to see it? Says Brahma is also devotee. So by his will, by will of Bhagavan, then he was able to see this form. Babaji Maharaj? Yes. Satyam Jnanam Anantam. So that statement uh, which is uh, given and in the shloka also. So Jiva is also Satyam and Jnanam. Only Anand Rupam is not there in the Jiva. Hmm. Basically, this uh, Jiva and if we say Vishnu Murti, so the difference is Anand. Yeah, and also Ananta is there, don't forget that. One is Anu, another is Vibhu. So, Evam Sakrida Darsa Dadarshaja Parbrahmatma no Khilan Yasya Bhasa Sarvamidam Vibhati Sa Characharam. So, in this way, Brahma. He saw all these cowherd boys and calves as Parabrahma. Parabrahma Atmana Akhilan Sakrita Dadarsha Aja. So Brahma now once, one time he saw all these cowherd boys having this form of Parabrahma. Every one of them. And what is this form? He says, Yasya Bhasa Sarva Midam Vibhati Sacharacharam. He is that Parabrahma by whose light everything gets illuminated here. Means all the life which you see here is coming from him. So there is also a statement in Munda Kupanishad, Natatra Surya Bhati Na Chandra Tarkam. Nema viddito bhati kuto magni. Yameva bhanta manu bhati sarvam. Yasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati. So everything has existence because of his existence. And everything has life because of 
his light that is the meaning of light here light is not just this light but the consciousness which living beings have this is because his he is the source so mamay vanso jeev loka jeev bhuta sanatana mane srishta indriyani prakriti sthani karshati so being amsas of him our life is not independent our consciousness is not independent so that is therefore he says that yasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati that it is by his illumination that everything becomes illuminated all moving and non moving so yasya para brahmana so yasya here means this para brahma and that para brahma is krishna सदर फॉर कृष्ण सहज इन भगवद गीता अहम सर्वस्व प्रभु मत सर्व प्रवर्तते मई सर्वदम प्रोतम सूत्रे मणि गणाय सो ही इज द सोर्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड ऑल लाइट एमनेट्स फ्रॉम हिम सो शशि सूर्या इन इज विभूति से नेट on this light of sun moon everything comes from me so the meaning is that these forms therefore are not product of some material maya these are real things because by magic you can also make certain things appear or disappear but they ultimately they don't have real existence that is only magical so his forms are not like that tato ati kutuko divrittya stimit ekadashendriya tad dhamna bhuda jastushnim purdevyam tive putrika so after seeing this when he this scene he saw for a short time and then it's like if big light is thrown into your eyes then you cannot see you you need light to see but if there is too much light you cannot see it's like if there is not sufficient light you cannot see if there is too much light then also you cannot see so this was too much light because all these forms were enlightened tasya bhasha yasya bhasha sarvam idam vibhati so so much light one vishnu has got light and now there are so many vishnus so how much light was there so therefore he says that all his 11 senses became stunned by seeing one vishnu you will get stunned right you will fall down in ecstasy by seeing so many vishnus so your senses will be overwhelmed so i see this one or this one or this one because this one is so beautiful and attractive you won't be able to decide so eyes want to see this form but the nose want to smell this form so then mind is only one that's why you fall down in ecstasy because mind cannot function the senses are pulling the mind in all ten directions they want to touch they want to smell they want to see they want to be near him they want to do service so he fell down he said tato atukutaka so ati kutuko divrittya stimita ekadash indriya so stimita means completely stunned and atikuto comes too much excitement out of too much excitement all the senses their vritti got frozen so tad dhamna bhut ajastushni so aja brahma he became silent by the brilliance 
of these forms dhamna dhamna svena sada nirasta kohakam first sloka means he keeps the maya away by his own brilliance satat dhamna bhuda jastushnim pur devyanti va putrika so it is just like if you go in front of a deity and then you stand there like a doll in sentient being so this is what happened to brahma means brahma who was trying to spread his maya now he got completely defeated absolutely so ati kautukena udvrittyani vilodayanni vilodyani stima stimitani ananda stabdani ekadash indriyani yes so because of kautuka too much excitement too much surprise so all the senses got completely churned because every sense wants to get the its object because all the gyanendriyas and karmendriyas they got too much excited by seeing so therefore they got stabdha they got completely frozen stultified stunned by ananda when too much ananda comes people get heart attack right not only by too much shock but by too much happiness also everything stops heart stops so much ananda heart cannot take the heart has got body has got limitation and here is this ananta ananda so brahma could not handle this much ananda so therefore he says ananda stabdani that they got stabdha they got completely frozen because of too much ananda ekadash indriyani yes yes all all the senses including the mind so udvritta udhritta iti paathe ati kutkena kshubhita so there is udvritta or udhritta different reading so basically means the senses were too much agitated tesham dhamna tej satushnim kimapi vaktum cheshtitum cha shakto abhut so he was completely overpowered overwhelmed overshadowed by the brilliance of these forms that he was neither able to do anything nor say anything because all the senses just became function dysfunctional they could not do anything they all went into state of samadhi all the senses so kimapi vaktum cheshtitum cha shakta bhut atra drishtanta pur devi bahu lokai pujyamana gram devata so pur devi here refers to the village deity in india every village has got a village deity it's called gram devata so people go and worship that gram devata so when they go and worship how you stand in front of the deity stand still folding hand don't speak especially village people they don't know much stotra or anything so like that he was standing means he is the knower of the four vedas and he has got four heads four mouths four tongues but nothing came out of his mouth so therefore he says that pur devyam tiva putrika so putrika is doll like a doll barbie doll it's called barbie doll that's why the word is putrika putrika actually means little daughter <laughs> so barbie doll comes from here she is also girl right so this is the girl here putrika <laughs> so brahma became barbie doll <laughs> So 
सो तस्य अंति निकटे पुत्री का बालके ने खेलले माना शुद्रा मृणमई पंचाली का ही सो ब्रह्मा बिकेम जस्ट लाइक अ स्मॉल डॉल विद विच द चिल्ड्रन प्ले मेड ऑफ क्ले क्ले डॉल स्मॉल साइज शुद्रा so that much of the mahima because he wanted to have an experience of krishna's mahima so now he has that here so it continues to explain that further iti re she tarke nij mahimni sva pramatike paratra jatao ta निरसन मुख ब्रह्म का मित अनीशोपी द्रष्टु किमदमी वा मुह्यति सती चाछादजो ज्ञावा सपदी परमो जाजविक अजाजवनी का ब्रह्मा ही इज नाउ कंप्लीटली बिवेल्डर्ड so bhagwan is described here as atarkya means he is beyond any logic or tarka so atarkya nij mahimni and he is situated in his own mahima and swaparamiti ke is swam prakash and परत्र अजाता इज बियॉन्ड माया सो ब्रह्म इज नॉट लाइक दैट सो अतन निरसन मुख ब्रह्म कमित सो अतन निरसन इज ए वेदांतिक वर्ड सो तत् मीन्स दिस ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट हियर आर कॉल तत् तत्व तत्व सो तत्व इज तत् इज द एब्सोलूट रियालिटी एंड अतत् इज दैट विच इज नॉट एंड निरसन ट्रू रिफ्यूट दैट सो ब्रह्म कमित so you one who is understood when you become free from all these atat so atat nirasan brahma kamitau anisho api drashtum kimidam iti va muhiyati sati so brahma who is called here as iraisha that he is actually the sometimes brahma is described as husband of saraswati so ira is saraswati and ira isha so he was unable to understand although he is the master of saraswati or husband of saraswati he was even unable to see him anisho api drashtum kimidam iti va muhiyati sat he was unable to understand what exactly is this because how how would he understand if you study vedas if you study upanishads and if you have not heard this story from bhagavatam and suddenly you see a scene like this what will you understand you will say what because in the vedas upanishad you hear only of one brahman and then he suddenly see so many so he was completely confused bewildered befuddled his intelligence could not accommodate or comprehend what exactly is this so this is the power of krishna that brahma who is supposed to be the most intelligent person of this universe who is the first person to receive the vedic knowledge तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदिकवि आदिकवि 
So he could not get anything, any understanding, any comprehension. So then, what Krishna did? So, Krishna, who is beyond Maya, Paramo Aja Javani Kam Sapadi Chachad. So now Krishna unveiled the Maya. Javanika is like the curtain of Maya. So he removed it so that Brahma will now see as suddenly he saw this big vision and now he will see back and then he will say, okay, now I understand who you are and then only he will recite those wonderful prayers in the next chapter. So commentary on this. Tavan matre eva manju mahimni nimajjantam anubhava asmartham brahmana malokya tata para sahasreshu darshita vyesu asadharneshu niz mahamanji mahimsu tam anadhikarinam abhimrishya manju mahima darshanat samapyama saityas. So Brahma wanted to see manju mahima, means the wonderful majesty of Krishna. But he was not thinking that Krishna is going to show so many majesties. He thought one. So therefore he says, Tavan matreya manju mahimni nimajjam nimajjantam. So he was completely drowned in the majesty of Krishna and was unable to experience. He did not have the capacity to experience all the glory, all the majesty. Brahmanam alokya. So seeing this Krishna, Tata para sahasreshu darshritavyeshu asadharaneshu niz mahima manji niz mahima manju mahimashu. So he, Krishna had thousands and thousands of this wonderful form which were beautiful, worth seeing and extraordinary. So tam anadhikarinam abhimrishya. So he now understood that Brahma is not qualified to perceive this. He is, does not have the qualification to perceive this. So therefore, he is not eligible, does not have the capacity. So therefore, Manju Mahima Darshanath Samapya Masa. So he put an end to it. So that is the meaning of Iti. That when this happened, then Krishna did this. Irire Brahmani Drashtum Api Anishe Sati. So Brahma, he was even unable to see it, forget about understanding it. Because we saw that all his eleven senses failed him. So he was not able to see, he is like swooned in ecstasy. So since he was not able to see, what is the point in now keeping these things manifest? So therefore he says, Iti Iri se Anishe Sati, Parmo Ajaya, the Supreme Master Sri Krishna, Gyatva, Swayashwarya, Ras Anubhave Tad Ayogya Tam Viksha. So seeing his incapability in experiencing Aishwarya, his own Aishwarya, Krishna's Aishwarya, Sapadi Aja Javani Kam, Yogmaya Rupam, Triskaranim Chachad. So then immediately, he removed his yoga maya completely. So, yaya puline bhanjanan sridamadi balkan trinam charto vatsan vatsan vesh kam swam chachadya swarub bhutan vats balkadin punastan eva chatur bhajaditve in darshya masa ta mantar dhapyade tiyarthi. So what is the meaning that he removed the curtain of yoga maya? He says that, that very yoga maya by which Krishna had showed him all the children who were eating at the bank of Yamuna, the children beginning with Sri Dhamma, and also the calves, 
calves which were eating grass vats anvesh kam swamcha chachadya and he who was searching the calves so he closed that because brahma first saw that then he saw everything as vishnu so now he removed both of them so tamanantar swarup bhutan vats balkadin punastan eva so then he showed him that all these boys they are manifestation of him and then he saw them in the form of four handed vishnu darshya masa so tam antar dhapya dityarthi so now he closed it completely it became unmanifest so ya vastav vastvam vastum avirnoti avastav vastu eva darshyati sa maya so now he is going to explain what is the difference between maya and yog maya because krishna's maya is also maya except that it has a qualifier called yoga yoga maya and then this is also maya sometimes called maha maya what is the difference both are maya so there must be some something similar in them some similar characteristic and there must be something different also that's why there are two different types so he explains he says maya which is also called maha maya that is the one which covers the real object and shows that which is not real that is called maya so we have our own swarupa so it covers that and show just this body which is not our real swarupa so that is maya ya to vastav vastu naam api madhye kim api avrnoti kim api darshyati sa yog maya so that which shows some of the real things at one time and covers the others and another time covers the other and shows another one that is yog maya so means the yog maya is not showing something which is avastav unreal so first yog maya showed krishna in the form of coward boys calves then yog maya showed in the form of all these coward boys and calves as ma vishnu and now yoga maya is showing the original set of the children whom brahma came to steal so they are all real but one was shown and others were hidden at that time and then another one was shown and the other one was hidden and now another one is shown and other is hidden so everything is real but it shows according to what is needed or required according to the past time of krishna or according to the wish of the devotees so therefore he says this is the difference between maya and yog maya maya yog maya or bheda bhedat aja shabdena atra bahiranga maya na vakhya so he says therefore this is the difference between yoga maya and maha maya therefore the word which has been used here as aja in the verse last line parmo aja javani kan so one should not think that the word aja here means maha maya this aja refers to yoga maya only because the same word is used so kwa muhiyati so where is brahma bewildered in what subject matter is he bewildered that is described in his mahimni nij mahimani darshe darshita chaturbhujaadi roop swa maheshwari so brahma was bewildered in the majesty or glory of krishna which many was manifest in the form of the four handed form which he saw kidrishe atarkev so what was 
the type of this form he says this form was atarkya atarkya means beyond tarka beyond logic it is it cannot be comprehended by logical mind so tarko apratishthana yata swa pramiti swa prakash cha sat kam sukh roopam cha tasme why because the, all these forms are swa prakasha and they are full of bliss swa pramiti ke so pramiti here means prakasha and ka means sukh happiness so they naturally have inherent bliss and consciousness in them ateva ajatah prakritih paratra parasmin therefore they are beyond ajata ajata aja there means prakriti beyond prakriti parasmin atanirshan mukhena brahma kai so so these are forms which und- which are understood when one becomes free by naiti 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 what? that is the meaning of atanirshan atanirshan means to refute what you are seeing around you okay this is atat so asthulam ananu ahrushvam ityadi kai shruti shromani shirobhir brahma bhivyanjikai mitir gyanam yatra tasmin swarupe so that fo- form which is described that it is not big it is not small it is not light etc so that is atan nirashan brahma ka mitav brahma here refers to the upanishads or the vedas so this is description of brahma's experience of krishna's glory now he will just describe what we he will do after this any question what did you mean hmm so i have two questions uh, one is when uh, it was said that yogamaya uh, shows only things which are real so first it showed the vishnu form to brahma so then it showed the cars so those cars which were shown were the ones which were hidden by krishna when like uh, this vida was going on for one shin yeah so second question is like when brahma himself been getting so bewildered and another uh, is is not able to see so shubhdev goswami ji is describing so actually shubhdev goswami ji is seeing seeing or in the sense he is experiencing and then describing or no, no he is describing he is not experiencing otherwise he will also fall into ecstasy yes he spoke about the village deities Mm-hmm. you spoke about the village deity that all villages um used to have this what be curious in your village where you grew up um what was the village deity there in just called gram devata didn't have any specific name ah so it's not one shiva deity or something no, no, like no. this no no the deity is called gram devata means the deity of the village does it have any specific form or mm. how how I, i've never seen such could you maybe describe how it no it does not have any f- specific form it just it was like a piece of stone and some s- covering around it with bricks and one platform on which it was mounted and then in the summer time i think when it was used to worship so this is the idea which we have already said that everything has a deity so even a gram has a de- deity 
this is what is we were saying here that characharam so this concept was there in india everything has deity okay but this deity was didn't have a specific form or name or any qualities so mm. to speak no at least Just I, some representation i, I never heard anything like I have a question related to Maya and Yoga Maya. One chose the real and the other covered, which is real. So we can say that in terms of, uh, just for do an example, one is positive and the other negative, not because one is good or bad, but just because they are like in opposite, opposite sides. So when we wanted to see the real thing, we pray to yoga maya for reveal us which is real because this is my question if we pray to her or we pray to maya to go away because just just i am doing this question just because don't have the negative doesn't imply to have the positive so in if we want to see the real what will be like the right way to what real to pray which is real i mean for example in this case the swarupa the, if we want to see which is real we okay. pray to yoga maya for reveal us that no what real real what reveal to you what real what is real i mean for example in the case of the swarupa swarupa of uh, brindavan for example or the swarupa so we pray to yoga maya for reveal us which, which is real or we pray to maya for take distance <laughs> from where you got the idea of praying first of all because he's a person as a deity so pray yeah but from him. where you got the idea that you have to pray to them i don't understand well actually it's not necessarily to pray to them because krishna controls both but so then why not pray to krishna only yeah but in, so in if this is the case we pray to krishna <laughs> for yoga maya for help us with the yoga maya or for why you have maya? to go into this i don't understand oh because I mean, have you read bhagavad gita mm -hmm. does he say anywhere that you should pray to maya or yoga mm -hmm. maya what mm -hmm. is he saying no he says that we have to refuge no, directly in krishna and abandon whatever other. So then why why are you now getting into praying to maya and praying to yoga maya and praying mm -hmm. to this no maybe just because right respect their own i don't understand from where this idea comes mm -hmm. and actually i was hearing something like that but maybe from a mixture of both things hearing something here and another thing there yeah then tomorrow you'll hear something else then you pray to that then you then you will read gopis are going and praying to katyayani so then said so now we should also pray to katyayani right <laughs> but in in the logic and katyayani is mahamaya mm. katyayani mahamaya yeah apurna masi or something like that but so as if you already don't have something to pray now you pray to this pray to that so but then the logic according to tatva is uh, which reveals the swarupa is yoga maya that's it it's not that because maya goes yoga maya appears in uh, automatically i mean one don't imply the others if maya is not there yoga maya is there why you don't want to understand the reality mm -hmm. i'm trying to dispel your maya mm -hmm. and you are trying to get it back uh -huh. <laughs> that i should pray to maya no no i not pray no that's pray. what you are saying that if i pray to maya then she will go away then the other one will naturally appear no this i understand no pray to them but in the logic of tattva how it works is krishna put his yoga maya on us so then we see what is which is real <laughs> we already read that bhaktya mam abhijanati yavanyasya asmi tattvata that only by bhakti i am known 
So where is the Maya or Yoga Maya came there? Hmm. You you heard that or not? Yeah, I see. see right? Yeah. Bhakti, I am Ekya Grahi. I am understood only by Bhakti. So now you are bringing Maya, Yoga Maya, this, removing that. I don't understand from where this comes. Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's not real conception. So try to understand what is being described. Mm -hmm. This is what I see, that what is being described, people don't focus on that, and their mind are going in something else here and there. And I'm stressing, I've said it again and again, that understand what is the Tatparya. Mm -hmm. And if you understand, then these questions you will not ask, or these questions, will, even if they come to your mind, you will know the answer yourself. But when you don't understand the, what is being described, then these types of questions will come in the mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the, the Leela is just about how all, all of this come from him. It's uh, directly, yeah. So Yogamaya's purpose is how Krishna is performing his Leela. Then that's where it is explained that he, Yogamaya, does this yoga maya does that but that is not for us now to pray to yoga maya and yeah. now start doing this any other question thank you Babaji. okay i'll stop <laughs>